All right, I'm going to do a little overview video on the big steel keg, uh, just to kind of give you guys some uh, idea of whatever some of the features are. Uh, <clears throat> we'll start here with the uh, temperature gauge. It actually reads very accurately to what you would find uh, if you had an in internal probe uh, for the temperature of the grill. Up on top, you have a cast iron vent. Uh, it's got a number system here. One through five, and uh, you just adjust accordingly to what you need. You have about one and a half. That's going to give you, uh, at least in my in my circumstance here, about uh, the 225 to two, 250 degrees. It's made of a hard cork coated steel on the outside. The uh, these side tables here have three hooks apiece for your tools. They also have, uh, they're also detachable. You simply push in these buttons here on both sides and uh, that comes off and you have handles there. Uh, so whenever you're taking this somewhere in your truck or what have you, you'd want to take off these handles to uh, as you're transporting them. <clears throat> Down here, we've got a little locking system. So what, as you're traveling, you just simply hook that up. And in theory, there you go, you'd be able to turn that and it locks the lid down in place. You also have right here two built-in uh, bottle openers for your beer or soda or whatever you're drinking. Down here you've got your bottom vent and it's, uh, it's wide open plus you have this uh, mesh screen here which is great to keep, uh, keep everything in uh, and it keeps the kiddos hands out of there. So they're not playing in the ash and stuff, if it's left open. Okay. On the back side here, we've got uh, your dolly handle, actually, which is really nice. Makes it very easy to move. Great uh, sturdy hinges here. And then good solid steel frame with uh, some strong composite plastic wheels. And one of the coolest parts is down here where that little point sticking out. That's the hitch part that goes for the uh, adapter that goes onto the back of your truck into a trailer hitch. You simply slide that on and you can kind of see underneath how it's bolted on. So you can carry your, your keg with you while you're tailgating or you're camping or anywhere you need to go. Really, really neat feature. Okay, that's pretty much the outside. We'll take a look at the inside next. Okay, we'll take a look at the inside of this cooker here. It's uh, on the outside, or around the edges, it's got this uh, oven gasket here. It's uh, over an inch thick double insulated walls with uh, oven insulation in between here. This is your fire pit here, your fire box. Obviously I've got some charcoal left over from my last cook. Down at the bottom here you've got the uh, air holes and then there's a cast iron down underneath there there's a cast iron ash grate that covers the uh, the ashtray. Okay. Now, let's look at a couple of uh, accessories we have here. The first, this is straight from the, uh, this is built for the big, big steel keg. This is the tray for the diffuser plate. They call it the uh, spider or spider web or something like that. So you, this one here holds the disputer, uh, excuse me, the um, diffuser, or you can turn it over like this, put your pizza stone on top of here and cook your pizzas. That way you're not running your uh, cast iron grate up around uh, you know the higher temps if you don't have to so that's for the diffuser here's the diffuser tray here this is the kit that comes with it so that just sits right in there you can put water in there or juice or beer or anything else or just wrap it up in foil or leave it alone next that's your diffuser kit here's the cast iron grate. This is the main cooking grate. You can put it on different levels. You can see here if 
getting this little notch here goes all the way down to the bottom which is really nice if you want to cook a big turkey or something like that and you need some more head space you can put it down here you take it and you flip it over and it sits on the top level this is where I normally have it for say briskets or shoulders or steaks or what have you and this is a real handy tool that comes with the big steel keg obviously it's used for getting in there and grabbing the uh, the grill and it's also if you take it down here to the if you open up that door you can scrape all the ashes out of the bottom and uh, it's a real real handy tool that comes with lastly we have sorry about that camera work there lastly we have this uh, secondary grill it's not really a warming rack since the convection oven cooks everything at about the same temperature throughout the cooker but this gives you another level of cooking surface so you can put a uh, I've done before I've done a brisket on the bottom and uh, a pork shoulder on top and it works real well or you could do like your brisket on top or your pork shoulder and put beans down below it and have all the meat drippings drip into the beans it's really good that way and this slides out real conveniently so that you can access your food on the lower deck without having to uh, take the top deck off so kind of the features of the inside of the grill and uh, other than that this is a this is a great machine great little cooker to uh, get some awesome Kamado style cooking done uh, smoking low and slow down to 220, 225. I've had this thing up to 750, 800 degrees to uh, sear some steaks before. So, uh, real versatile, and it. I've done a uh, a cook up to about 18 hours and never had to refill the uh, charcoal. So that's my daughter in the background. Sounds like I got to go. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Later.